Hi folks, Derek Clark from the Rangers Review here and at last I've finally seen Rangers win away in Europe. My day started with an early start flying out from Manchester Airport to Malaga. This is us touching down in the Spanish city. We had a little stopover, so we had a lovely frosty pint of San Miguel before getting the train over to Seville. We killed some time on the train by catching up with the morning briefing, which Joshua hosted superbly alongside Chris uh, before stepping off our train at Seville. And then we headed over to the press conference, which took place at the stadium. I met up with Chris and we got the thoughts of Philip Clement and Abdallah Sima ahead of the game on Thursday night. I then hot-footed it over to a Real Betis bar to speak to one of their supporters, Enrique, who gave a great account of the Rangers' opponents. The next day was match day and check out those views from the top of the Rangers Review apartment. I conducted the morning briefing on said apartment alongside Chris, although we're gutted that the swimming pool was closed for winter. I then took a wander into the centre of Seville, had a little cerveza, as you do, and stopped off at a little cafe, James Richardson style, to conduct our weekly members Q&A show on YouTube with Stevie Clifford. Then it was time to head to the square and you can see the Rangers fans were out in numbers. A few beers were had in the afternoon and then it was time to make our way to the ground. It was a cracking atmosphere heading up uh, to the uh, Benito Villa Marine Stadium and this is us uh, climbing up to the press gantry. Me and Chris then recorded our team news reaction video as you can see here from the stadium uh, before we welcomed Rangers out onto the pitch. It wasn't long until we were celebrating us Serial Dessers banging one in R9 style uh, and that is the full time scenes as Rangers defeated Real Betis 3-2 to qualify for the last 16 of the Europa League. It was then time to head down to the press conference room where we heard from Manuel Pellegrini. It was then Philip Clement's turn to speak to the press and it's fair to say he was a very happy Belgian. And we rounded off the night with the post-match reaction video Join Johnny on that before I get chucked out of the stadium. But all in all, a fantastic trip and I'll see you all again in March.